I hope so. I want to see that. The players, you know, have got to show performance. You know, there's three hard games to win for us in our position. You need to look at the level that City are playing at the minute. And, it's frightening. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be very tough, but it doesn't take away from the fact that you have to show the performance. And then, of course, anything can happen because we have talent here. This is not, not trying to make it into the ultimate underdog, but at the same time, we have to be realistic. But what I do want to see is um, uh, the level of performance in terms of intent. Because I, I, you know, we watched everybody watched City play this week against Real Madrid and the intensity of their game, the basics that they do time after time, are what we everybody else has to aspire to. That's why they are what they are. And do you think in the back of their minds, maybe they'll be wanting to show the, whoever comes in that they belong here, that they, you know, although they haven't been performing to their full potential, that they can? Yeah, that would be the only way I would think that you could have, you could have approach this because otherwise you, you don't deserve to be at the top of elite sport you know you have to be motivated all the time whether it's you know people can be motivated by many different things if you want to stay at Chelsea you want to impress a new manager show it in these next three games because for sure he'll be watching do you know what I mean so I think those things are important and it should you know in, in a way it feels like we shouldn't be talking about that for I'm honest and, and as I've touched on before motivation of what you see on Sunday is going to be a result of what we've been doing here but the things that people don't see the motivation to train to push to set standards, to strive, to cajole teammates around you, all, all things like that are what 